OK, the next item we're going to look at is how we can use existing drawing settings. So the chances are if someone sent you a DWG, they've put a load of layers into the file, which you might not have saved into your options, into your template. So the good thing is you can bring that file in as a block and then just delete out all the information, but it still saves all the layers, the line styles, the line weights in your document, and then you can save it as a template. So to do this, if I just go back into draft site, I'll just show you how you can go about doing this. Okay, so you notice now I've opened it up, we've got all of my layers in now. So what I'm going to do then, if I just shut this down for a sec, I'm just going to open up a blank file. So if I just go to new, these are all your DWT, so these are your drawing template files. You'll notice I've even made a couple of CAD tech ones, and you can make your own ones up too. So now that's blank, if you just go to insert, you've got an option of inserting a block, which to be honest, if you guys have got DWG blocks already, you can use them in draft site, that's great. So if I browse for the file, if I choose this one called import settings, you notice it shows you a preview, you can choose the scale, um, you can choose where you want to position and whether if you want to explode the block. So if I double click it's to zoom it in, so right now we've brought that document in and it's brought the layers across, so there's nothing to stop me just canning that and it keeps the layers behind. So if I now save that into my template, I've got all those layers already there we don't have to go and add them in by start, you know, we can just add them in straight off and then take out what we don't need. So that might be a bit of a productivity gain, particularly if you open up a file that someone sent you and you quite like the way they've set the layers, you can just use them straight off. 